Hi there, Gemini. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your July 2017 first through the 15th love reading. This is intended to be a love reading for July 1st through the 15th. If it doesn't resonate with you, please check your rising sign or your moon sign. What do you have for Gemini regarding love? July 1st to the 15th. Thank you to all the subscribers, commenters, viewers, and likes and bookings. I've been quite busy, so thank you very much. Thank you for the donations as well. I really appreciate that. This is for Gemini, July 1st to the 15th, love, love, what do you have for love? It looks like love is on the mind anyway this week. That's good. Um, love is on the mind. And perhaps you were thinking about somebody. Maybe you're thinking about someone that you've had um, uh, your guard up against in the past. I don't know. And here, you know, here we have this kid. One of these is you. Probably both of them. Um, you know, coming to grips with the truth, coming to grips with some of uh, truth that has uh, come to mind, all right? Um, and I think that you decide to act on it, whatever it is this week, whatever, whatever's going on up there, whatever awakening that you have, you're going to act on it, okay? Um, you probably don't want to fight it anymore. Um, could be you um, are thinking about a water sign or an earth sign. I'm thinking that you're. it's more probable that it's an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, perhaps there's been some passion with this person in the past. Um, maybe, they're, maybe they're in your life right now, but um, there has been some um, conflicts, okay, between you and this other person. Um, and this week, you know, the, with the full moon in Capricorn, the, there's going to be a lot of words said, and I think you're going to, you're going to communicate, all right? You are. That's what I think. And you're going to act towards following your wishes in love, because at the beginning of July, it looks like you are thinking about your future in love, okay? And you're thinking about where you want to be. Remember to, or try to remember to not be too hasty, okay? Because that might make somebody put their guard up. There's a potential that you come might be coming across too strong to someone. And someone has said, whoa, back up, back up, okay? So just, you know, come in, come in a little bit slower, perhaps, towards somebody. Um... Yeah, there's been some rejection in the past. That's what it is, Gemini. There's been some rejection from some... Maybe your fear, fear of rejection, you know? Um, you've got your guard up. You do. Perhaps, you know, you're not sure if you even want to build a foundation with anybody right now. I mean, that's what I see. 
I mean, you're thinking about building a foundation and you're thinking about love, but you're not quite fully open to it, all right? You're kind of a little bit stuck somewhere somewhat, for some reason. For some reason, I mean, you really want that happily ever after. You really want that ultimate love, okay? And that is what you are looking for, but you're still trapped in a situation that is blocking you, okay? That's what's happening. That's what's happening. But you are going to reach, you're going to have um, a breakthrough. You're going to have an awakening. You're going to have a mental clarity right here that um, pushes you to act probably rather quickly and you could be acting towards this person and it's not in a bad way it pushes you to act um, lovingly but it might be a little too strong okay if you're gonna act lovingly but it might be a little bit too much too fast that's what I'm trying to say um, because you want this happily ever you want this happy home you want this content you want this stability all right it's what you've been waiting for and you're sick of you're sick of not having it okay you're sick of fighting for it this is all you want and and you don't in the rejection you've been rejected in the past and it's in it's still affecting you like i said you're still stuck you're still hung up on some past sorrow some past um hurt But we're talking about future, all right? We want to know about the future, not about where they've been. I see that they have love on their mind, but they're still stuck. So that is that is the future. That's the now. If you're still stuck right now, then that's that's the now. Um, but you're gonna have a you're gonna have a wake up call, okay? This is the universe offering you the mental clarity that's gonna cause you probably to act, and you might be you might act a little impulsively, okay? Because you're so anxious to get this. I mean, you're very anxious to get this um, happy home life. Now, the full moon is in Capricorn. I've been trying to remind people to be careful. It's a very dangerous full moon. There's potential for re relationships to end. There's potential for a lot of fights and misunderstandings. <laughs> There's a potential for a war. I mean, that, that's what these energies are about right now in these two weeks. The Capricorn full moon starts on July 9th. The energies are usually the strongest right before that. So, and this is the probably the, the, the most dangerous full moon that we have had yet this year. It brings in so much power and manipulation that every one of us in the universe is going to be affected by it, okay? So, if beware every single person there's going to people are going to be on edge they're going to be ready to fight you know there's going to be fights everywhere so keep this at the tip of your um hat you know per se keep this close keep this information close remember to um you know don't be impulsive don't be impulsive because you think before you act. That's your best advice. Think before you act because the potential for misunderstandings is huge. And people could get hurt easily. Gemini, love. What do we have for love? Hmm? Oh, still, oh, they're still stuck in something, and there's still conflicts. What? It's what the? It's blocking you from true love. Something being stuck somewhere you don't want to be is blocking your love. This is saying that you need to take action. You have the power. You do. You have the power to let the sword down. This is forgive and forget. You have the power to heal your heart. Believe it or not. You have the power. 
act, take action. The power comes from within. This is part of your blockage. If you are still stuck somewhere and you are not ready for love to come because you're still stuck somewhere, you know, the, the next step is to, to get unstuck. You need to get unstuck. You don't need to have your defenses up anymore. No more. Let it come in. Do not resist it. Oh. Look at that. You have been rejected. <laughs> and it just about kills you because you are a lover. You are a lover. So it does. It just about kills you. And all you want is that happy home life. That's all that you want. And because you want it so much, you might act a little impulsively because it's such a strong desire. Okay, so this card is about having the discipline, having the willpower. Like I said, this is a strong two weeks. It's about, there's a very high sexual energy this these two weeks. With that moon... Okay, very high for everybody. I mean, the fair moon, the fair moons are going to be like zinging off of each other. So um, the sexual sexual attraction is going to be out of this world. Um, so here you are. Here's a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is a Leo, but this is also a very sexual energy, high sexual energy. With the peer, with this uh, moon and this. And this card, which is you, and you already have that. Before this moon and before this card, you already have that, okay? It's going to be, try not to be impulsive. You might scare somebody, all right? So, and it's not in a bad way. I don't think your impulsiveness would be in a bad way. I think it'd be just as genuine as can be. But to the other person, it might be a little um, scary, um, just saying. But, um since I see this as being a sexual, it might be with this person. Okay, and this is a epiphany, a wake up, a, um, a breakthrough regarding this person. So I think that you know who this is. I do, I think that you know who this is and you're just waiting for the right time to pounce, perhaps. If you are already, and then, but, but when you do pounce, do it gently, very gently. Okay, be very gentle. Um, it could be somebody from the past that has rejected you and you, you had love with them and you want love with them. And... Um, you want you've, you were very comfortable together. The the home life was great, all right, and the sex was great too. It really was great, and so that's where why you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it here, and that's what you want. But you're still stuck someplace else, so you can't really make it here, okay? Uh, but this is where you want to be. And with these with these energies, there's a good chance that you might take a step. You might act. You might. Grab your out your willpower or use your own magic and do something about it. It's a good, good, good chance of it. Okay, what do we have for Gemini? You know what? We're going to go with these before we do those. Let's get some clarifiers. June, f June. It's not June. You're born in June. Most of you. Not most of you, but a lot of you. Yeah, most of you. Anyhow, I'm sorry. Um, July 2017, the 1st to the 15th regarding love. I grew up with my mother. She was paranoid schizophrenic since I was five. And that's where I got my gift from. The fact of the matter is, is she really wasn't paranoid schizophrenic. But way back then, they didn't know how to describe it. 
they didn't know what to do. And then she got on drugs and it just blew things out of proportion. And before you know it, she really did become, uh, like, I don't even know what, but she still had the gifts. But that's where I got my gifts from. And, but I'm not schizophrenic, so. Luckily, um, these days, it's more accepted. But she, she saw people and talked to people and all kinds of stuff, so. They, and, uh, you know, way back then, they, they deemed her as crazy. Lucky nowadays. And it ruined her life. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that. I haven't told anybody else that. Five of Swords, King of Swords, Five of Cups. And then we have... Expect the unexpected. That's what I was looking for. Expect the unexpected, Gemini. Something unexpected is going to happen in these two weeks. And let me tell you, it might frighten you. It might. Because um, it's an overwhelming, power, uh, powerful time. The energies are out of this uh, world these next two weeks. Dangerous. Dangerous, powerful, manipulative energies. Okay? Um, over here... The Five of Swords, an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. You're still stuck here. You're still stuck somewhere. What the hell? Why? Why are you allowing yourself to be stuck in this situation, Gemini? Why? And here you are. Speak your mind with confidence. Balance mental and emotional consideration. Speak your mind. Do it with gentleness, though, because especially during this week. You do it with confidence, okay? Please do. Do it with confidence, but do it with gentle confidence, okay? Um, because that's where you're going to get the most um, love. Have you got this one twice? Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilled milk. That's what I mean. This was a very comfortable home life. That's why I think there is somebody that you are thinking about that you're not with right now. Because perhaps you're stuck with the wrong one right now. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? Or you're alone right now and you're still stuck thinking about the wrong one right now. Okay? Or you're thinking about both. That's even more prominent. You're thinking about the last one, and you're thinking about this other one. I mean, which path, which way should you go? Over here, it was a, it is a very comfortable home life. Comfortable. You can be yourself. You can, you know, be all fat and lazy on the couch. No problems. Okay. Um, so it's very content. All right. Um, crying over spilt milk. Act on it. Act, 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 act. But do it with grace. When you act, do it with grace. Everybody is listening during these two weeks. Everybody is feeling connected to somebody in a very big way. So just act on your hunches. But do it with grace. What do you have for romance for Gemini? Do you have any romance? That's right over this action card. Doesn't mean a literal engagement. It could mean just a commitment. All right? That's all. That's after you act. And stop crying over the spilled milk. You have it twice. It's a breakup card. You know, there's been a breakup and perhaps, you know, you want that back. But you need to do something about it. Gently. Communicate. 
communicate, communicate, communicate with grace, love, kindness. Oh, beautiful. Could be. Somebody from the past, I think, that you were comfortable with. That's what I think. I could be I could be wrong. Or it could be somebody new that's coming in that you're going to be very comfortable with. But I think it's more somebody else. It could be somebody new. This is the romance of a lifetime. If it is somebody new, make sure you let go of this past. Over this spilled milk. Over this. Over being stuck. You absolutely need to get over it before that true love can come in. I mean, really serious. He, oh my God, I just looked. I was, this is what it was. Damn it. I should have said it before looking at the cards. I was going to say, you need to free yourself. And I happened to look down and there it is. Damn. I'm telling you what. They come to me, like I said, I mean, every single reading I do, they come to me. Every single reading. And I guess that's why I told you about my mother's gift, because they came to her, too. And I remember right before she died, I, I told her several times. And she was in her best right mind. She just died not, I mean, in November. So she was in her best right mind, and um, because she wasn't all drugged up. So we had some great conversations, uh, best conversations I've ever had with her in my life. And, um, and how gifted she was, we talked about it, it was unbelievable. But anyway, these, what, I'm telling you what, these gifts are mine as well. I was going to say free yourself, and then I looked down. Free yourself from this. Do it. Whatever you're in, stuck with right now, you need to free yourself right now. And whether somebody from the past comes back into your life and you're thinking about them or it's somebody new, you need to act on that. You free yourself and then act. It's time to take back control of your life. So that is what I have for you. Um, thank you so much for all the uh, comments and all that. And I will talk to you soon.